him to Weapon TX. Oh yes. Now I have the new OpenTX. Uh, but it's not about the OpenTX that I want to talk today. Uh, it's about uh, global variables, uh, which, is, uh, which is a very powerful function that can be used uh, for a lot of things. Uh, in this example that I'm about to do now, I will, uh, I will use it uh, for, um, for exponential. Uh, because I um, I want to to find the right exponential uh, for uh, for my models and uh, to avoid experimenting or trying uh, different values uh, and land and change the value fly land change the value and so on I will I, I will associate um, this potentiometer here on the side uh, as a, as an expo um, exponential uh, value potentiometer, and then uh, when I'm when I'm happy, I will get uh, I will catch that uh, that value, and uh, and put it in a fixed way on on uh, on each on each model that I have on the radio. Uh, this function can also be used. Uh, for your dual rates and uh, well for many 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 things actually so uh, let's start so um, let's go into here the first thing that I'm gonna do is a curve because curves uh, work uh, as constraints uh, even if uh, you have a certain input that goes uh, from minus 100 to 100, you can constrain that uh, uh, that travel, uh, that range, uh, without messing with the with the input directly. Uh, you can create a, a curve, and 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 tell and um, regulate that range on a curve without touching the the input value or the mix value or ever so uh, let's uh, let's do a, a curve and uh, all right and I, I will create a simple two-point curve all right and uh, this curve will go from Let's say I want the I want the expo to go from zero to let's say maybe forty. Normally, normally the uh, the the exponentials uh, don't go too high. Uh, maybe twenty five percent, thirty percent, thirty something percent. So I will I will use uh, a value. Uh, a maximum value of um, forty percent. Okay, forty-five. It's okay. And uh, uh, I will name it. Expo curve. Expo curve, okay. So uh, a curve that goes from zero to forty-five. So here it's uh, pretty much done. So return. All right. I have here my my curve. Now I go into inputs, <coughs> and uh, I will create a dummy a dummy channel. Uh, okay let's say here on line uh, 18 17 I like the 17 so I, I do it on 17 all right so here I will name it as expo 
I'm sorry about that. I'm a little bit lazy because I'm I'm not looking s uh, directly to to the radio. Uh, I'm looking through the phone to the radio. That's why so I'm, I'm seeing things uh, much uh, much smaller than they really are. So uh, for this input called Expo, uh, the source will be uh, the LS, which is this potentiometer here. All right. So let me set it. LS. Where is it? LS, where are you? LS, here it is. So, and I will use a curve custom. And will be this one, okay? So, uh, if you have you seen that, as soon as I selected the curve that I've made uh, before, um, the the movement of of these of this input called Expo uh, has got constrained already. That's why I like to to use curves, and uh, I will try to to move here just to double check uh, pay attention to this to this number F on minimum it goes from 0 to 45 so that's the maximum that's the minimum that's exactly what i want so now uh it's done it's done right here let's go over special functions And then, and then we will see uh, we will see the the value being changed here. So special functions, and over special functions, we will create a line. A line will start with on, so always on. I think okay it's here so and now adjust global variable uh, variable sorry yes that's right that's what we want and in here <coughs> it just gives us the chance to change this value but if we long press the the return button the the enter button we will long press and uh we'll, we're gonna have a menu a selection menu with other options long press and there it is so and we want mixers a uh, mixer source <coughs> all right and then we're gonna select uh, the the input that we have just created before called expo there it is and activate so now the global function <coughs> the global function value uh, it's being adjusted by the uh, the expo input which is an ls potentiometer constrained by a curve from 0 to 45 so this global variable one will be uh, will have a range from 0 to 45 let's uh, let's double check it 
global variable so there it is the global variable one that we have just created let's move the potentiometer there it is all right i'm moving it here and it's right on the range we want so now let's use this global variable that is moving from 0 to 45 and we can uh, we can add these uh, these uh, glo uh, this expo global variable um, well actually i'm going to use this uh, this expo global variable in three channels aileron elevator and rudder and i can i can actually apply uh, this global variable uh, directly on the uh, on the input or on the mix so it's basically the the, the same thing okay i like to um, normally i i do like to to use these on the input and just one more thing because after this video i will use the global variable for the dual rates as well so i can i can delete this line that was working as dual rates and was created in uh, a previous tutorial video delete all right and now edit so this switch will go will go away i don't need it anymore all right and we're gonna set here on the aileron not a differential we're gonna expo so we're gonna set exponential and instead of being a fixed number we're gonna long press here all right and uh, now instead of having a fixed number for the exponential we have uh, the global variable and is set and as uh, as soon as i start to to move the potentiometer here we can actually see the uh, the line the channel uh, the channel line uh, moving and being applied with uh, with the exponential all right so here we have plus 45 0 45 0 and once i i'm happy uh during the flight i i will move these uh, this potentiometer to find out which uh exponential it's good for me and when i uh, as soon as i'm satisfied what i what i'll do is I'm going to the global variable tab. Okay. And see, okay, so uh the number that I've I felt comfortable was for example, now it's it's jumping because these potentiometers are not, are not the best thing on the world. Let's say that 22% it's uh, it's the value that I'm looking for. It's the value uh, with which I'm comfortable. So uh, I'll grab this number. So tw uh, 22. I'll go back here. Right to where I have. Right to where I have the global variable. I will add it, and. In Hexpo, instead of global variable, I will insert 22. And, well, that's it uh, for now. Uh, this was just one example uh, about using global variables, which is a very, very powerful uh, tool within uh, OpenTX. And, of course, uh, this function, as well as uh, all the other functions that I've been w um, showing on the tutorial videos, are applicable to uh, to any radio that uses uh, OpenTX firmware on it. Uh, Aorus, Taranis, uh, Jumper, 
T12, T16, whatever, uh, you can use those functions in your radios. All right, so thank you very much for watching one more one more tutorial video. See you on the next one. Cheers, bye.